Ahoy sailors and welcome back to Sailors 365. If you're considering booking a cruise with Carnival Cruise Line, you may want to think twice. A new class action lawsuit alleges that the cruise ship company has been secretly recording the actions of consumers who visit their website, violating state and federal consumer laws. So come aboard with us in today's episode as we explore this illegal data collection practice and how your privacy is at risk. According to plaintiff India Price's lawsuit, Carnival illegally wiretaps the electronic communications of visitors to their website, www.carnival.com, using third-party vendors like Microsoft to embed snippets of JavaScript computer code. This code allows Carnival to intercept and record the actions of people visiting the website in real time, including your mouse movements, clicks, keystrokes, URLs of web pages visited, and other electronic communications. The purpose of this practice, known as session replay, is to provide Carnival with a video replay of a user's behavior on their website for analysis. However, this practice goes against privacy laws and violates the Invasion of Privacy Act, California Penal Code, and the Federal Wiretap Act. Session replay code allows a website to capture and record nearly every action a website visitor takes, including actions that reveal the visitor's personal or private sensitive data, even when the visitor does not intend to submit the data to the website operator. Carnival's conduct is not only illegal, but it's also a breach of trust with their customers. The consequences of this data collection practice can be serious. The data collected by Carnival can be used to identify sensitive information, such as credit card information, social security numbers, and other personal data. This data can then be used for fraudulent activities and identity theft. Not only is Carnival breaking the law, but they're also putting their customers at risk. Price's lawsuit seeks to represent anyone in California whose website communications were intercepted through Carnival's procurement and use of session replay code. The plaintiff seeks certification of the class action, damages, fees, costs, and a jury trial. Carnival has already agreed to pay $1.25 million in a multi-state settlement to resolve claims that the company took too long to notify the public about a 2019 data breach. But this latest privacy scandal shows that Carnival still has a long way to go to protect its customers. Carnival's conduct is a reminder of how important it is to protect your personal data online. It's crucial to be cautious about what information you share online and to make sure you understand a company's privacy policies before doing business with them. The more you know about your privacy rights, the better you can protect yourself from these types of illegal data collection practices. Carnival Cruise Line's illegal data collection practices are not only unethical, but also violate state and federal laws. It's time for Carnival to be held accountable for their actions and provide better privacy protections for its customers. As consumers, we have the right to privacy and to know when our data is being collected. Together, we can fight for our privacy rights and demand better from companies sailing the high seas. Let us know what you think of these allegations in the comments section below. And, for our sailors who are interested in more information, the Carnival Corporation class action lawsuit is India Price et al. v. Carnival Corporation, case number 323CV00236 GPCAHG in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of California. That's all for now, sailors. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel, hit the like button on this video, and we'll see you next time, sailing on the high seas.